So while everybody was bricked up for Black Ops 6, the homie Devin comes out and says that Black Ops 6 is the biggest scam in the Call of Duty history. We're gonna listen to his arguments, we're gonna listen to his points, we're gonna see who hurt my boy! Like this video if you just want a good game, dislike the video if you want something else. Apparently, baby, see you we're gonna get into this one. Roll it. You know, guys, with all the hype surrounding Call of Duty Black Ops 6, this has led me to the belief that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 could be the biggest scam in Call of Duty history. Actually, okay. as a matter of fact, I'd go even a step further as to say this will be the biggest scam in Call of Duty history. Now, before you get your panties in a twist and all the Call of Duty fanboys in the comment section tell me to yeah. off myself, say my <laughs> opinions are relevant, etc., etc., yeah, without yeah, even yeah. watching the full video. You yeah, know, yeah. average view duration exists. I can see that in my analytics. But anyways, I digress. Just hear me okay. out, guys, because I feel like there's actually a few points here that can actually present a strong case for this being the biggest scam in Call of Duty history. Now, I understand- Oh, man, few points. That's uh, too much for the internet to handle, brother. You gotta be fast. You gotta lay it down just like I lay some of the could you tell you, tell you. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not lay gonna down, change everybody's mind. There are Call of Duty fanboys in this community, and they live in Deluluville. They're straight up delusional, and they think that this is going to be the godsend. Jesus himself is gonna come down from yeah. the high heavens and save Call of Duty. That's what Black Ops 6 is to them. So yeah. for those people, Bro, I know- like, okay, no, he right on this one, because ever since they revealed Black Ops 6, everybody's, like, trying to suck Activision BBC dry. In Urdu, I would like to say, yeah, that's exactly what's going on. And and the funniest thing is that, and this is a good thing that Prestige is coming back, Zombies Crew is coming back, but you see we had all of these features for 10 plus years and they removed it and now they're bringing it back, acting like that it's something crazy out of this world. And the fans, they're excited, they're bricked up, they're doing backflips. I guess the homie Devin in this video is not doing backflips. And I want to know why he's not doing backflips. And we're going to actually carefully analyze all of his points. You know, Let's I'm not get changing into it, your boy. mind. And you guys can go live in Deluluville and have fun with that. But for the people that came into this video with an open mind, I applaud you. You've made it 59 seconds into the video, which is a hell of a lot longer than I could say for most of the Call of Duty community. You know, they all have TikTok brain. It's an epidemic going around right now. They can't yeah, yeah. watch a video for longer than a minute if it doesn't sit there and just absolutely glaze and slobber all yeah. over the Activision D. So if you're looking for that, this isn't going to be the type of channel for you. I don't glaze Activision. And I know there's a lot of Activision glaze in my comment section yeah. and people that just like to go on Twitter and yeah, I'm, I'm about to subscribe to this man already, bro. Let me actually do that real quick. Uh, Fend the billion dollar them. company, which I'll never understand. But anyways, I digress. Let's get into the first point. Point number one as to why Black Ops 6 will be the biggest scam in Call of Duty history. Well, the pretty obvious point here is nostalgia baiting. We saw mm, it with yeah. Modern Warfare yeah, 2019 yeah, yeah. and we saw it with Modern Warfare 2. And of course, we all know that Call of Duty has a fantastic track record when it comes to reviving oh, old yeah. nameplates, right? I'm sure you guys yeah. can sense my sorrow. Sarcasm. MW19, as far as I'm concerned, is the worst Call of Duty in the entire <laughs> franchise, bar none from a multiplayer standpoint. It yeah, honestly, objectively speaking, it could have been an amazing game because there are a lot of really good qualities of that game. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be the first guy to say that, right? Uh, but, but of course, I'm getting to that part. But wait, there's more. Uh, here's the thing, right? The, the camping friendly, the campy friendly map that it had just completely just shat the bed right on top you add skill based mastering and on top the devs comes out say that now we just gotta have safe spaces eee, we gotta eee, we gotta have safe spaces for the the defense and all that i mean come on bro like what are what are we doing here bro and bottle warfare 2022 introduces the most amazing friendly bbc online they they added the friendly uav online the bbc online right and now we're figuring out that it's not gonna be in black ops 6 I mean, it's gonna be, but it's not gonna be, like, in its raw and organic form that the people love, apparently, right? Like, yeah, bro, like, what the hell is going on? If you want to nostalgia bait us, then nostalgia bait us correctly. Add the real skin in the game. Like the video if you agree, bro. Changed a bunch of things. I made an entire video essay on this. If you guys want to go watch that, I'm not going to harp on this too long. Modern All Warfare right. 2 2022 is another prime example of this. We had MW2. Everybody was like, oh my goodness, Modern Warfare 2 is coming back. We're back, boys. And Modern Warfare 2 2022 was basically a worse version of Modern Warfare 2019. Now, it's a close tie for me between MW2 and Modern Warfare 2019, but I know I will get some hate for this. I give the edge to Modern Warfare 2 2022 just oh, slightly wow. because of the maps. I don't think there's any. 
I, and I was, I think Modern Warfare 2022 gameplay was a little faster than Modern Warfare 19. Like I said, Modern Warfare 19, objectively speaking, a lot of good things about it. It's just that camping friendly maps and the campers in that game, skill based management, again, all of that just destroyed the game in my opinion. But I feel like that if you go back to the game right now, maybe you're gonna have a better experience because all the tryhards have moved on and the tryhards are on the latest games, right? I, I could be wrong for sure. Any good maps in Modern Warfare 2019? And I understand that's my opinion. It's subjective. Yeah. And there's going to be people that disagree with me in the comment section. That is completely fine. But the yeah, point I'm trying to wrong. make here is that they do not have a good track record when it comes to reviving old nameplates. Yeah, Example, yeah. MW19 and Modern yeah. Warfare 2. Point number two, EOMM will be uh -oh. dialed up to 11. We all know that this is going to happen. Engagement optimized matchmaking is here to stay. And it's going to be an epidemic for the next few Call of Duty games, if not every single Call of Duty game moving forward. We have things like sadly but the good news here is that and again this is just a rumor right it, it, and even if it's true it quote unquote it might still turn out to be false or basically what i'm trying to say here is that the news or i should say the rumor right now is that they are planning to remove or lessen the effects of skill based matchmaking sounds good yeah, it's good news, but apparently it's a rumor, so maybe real, may not be real. And even if it's real, you guys gotta understand that, like, by the time the game comes out, they're either gonna decide to do it or not to do it. What I mean by this is that decide to lessen it or, or just <laughs> keep it as is, and if it's as is in the game then it's kind of joe over at this point and the entire reason this rumor is going around is that x define has been very successful at least so far uh we do not know if it's gonna be successful in a month to come or two months uh, a year to come we're, we're not sure i hope it is it's not a call of duty killer but it's also not a trash game right i, I know the call of duty fanboys uh, are hating on the game call of duty refugees are glazing the game i feel like that it's a decent game and we surely i mean more f FPS games can never hurt, right? You feel what I'm saying? More FPS games or more good games in general is always good, right? You have more options and therefore these companies have to compete and they have to make their products better because they are competing ultimately for your time and for your money. So I think X Define being good, yeah, it's a good thing. Oh, bro, like I want that game to succeed. A absolutely like the video if you want just more good games simple as that simple as that like rigging algorithms rigging outcomes of matches skill based damage etc etc these are all seen throughout patents that activision actually owns now Dude. i don't have any proof that it's in the game but the people that like to come here and say that i need to prove that it's in the game don't have any proof that it's not in the game now i understand mm. i'm the one making the argument and the uh, uh, there are patents about right like them changing your stats in game they can certainly there's a pattern for it doesn't mean that it's 100 percent in the game but you guys gotta understand that they got skill based management and they got umm in the game and the fact that they have a pattern that talks about changing or nerfing your stats in game the fact that they can and they have a pattern for it you only gotta imagine i mean their algorithm is so superior their algorithm is so advanced that you play five games and these suckers know how many kids you're gonna have in the future Bruh. these suckers know your entire family tree these suckers know like everything on you yeah this thing is crazy damn it this thing is crazy. They're using Mark Zuckerberg like technology, Brad. They're using lizard type technology in the game. Burden of proof does fall on me, but the fact of the matter is, we don't have any proof either confirming nor denying the fact that skill based damage, EOMM, and all of these other patents are at play in Call of Duty multiplayer. Mm. But one thing I do know is that if it isn't EOMM and it is in fact skill based matchmaking, well, I'm pretty sure the skill based matchmaking is going to be dialed up to 11 because if we all remember the last Black Ops game we got being Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, the EOMM and SBMM in that game was by far the the worst I've ever seen in the franchise. Black Ops Cold War Eleven? is the only Call of Duty game. Now, I don't know if this is because of, you know, the non-resetting streaks and everybody can get streaks, even bad players, but it is the only Call of Duty game that I refused to play solo. When you <laughs> played this game solo, it was absolute slugfest. It was sweaty. You couldn't move. Uh, uh, listen, I love Black Ops Cold War. I feel like that. Oh, you guys don't like it? Oh, my bad. Yes, my bad. Man, I, I kind of like it, man. Just a little bit, though, you know? Now, I actually feel like that Black Ops Cold War, but here's the thing though. I'm about to say some negative as well. Wait for it. But now, Black Ops Cold War is the last good Call of Duty game in the last uh, four or five years, right? 
in my honest opinion. I, I love playing Nuketown 24-7. I don't try to play other maps in the game whenever I hop on because I don't necessarily play too much Call of Duty nowadays, but the only time I play Call of Duty is like Black Ops Cold War, Nuketown 24-7, and I do enjoy my time listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos in the background, and playing the game as well without audio. I love it. That's my setup. That's what I love doing. That's what I love uh, in terms of Call of Duty, okay? Now, the negative that I was uh, that, that I said that I'll bring up is that, of course, when the game was uh, getting revealed and when the game was coming out, the hype was insane, bro. The hype was crazy. Everybody was shaking. Literally. Oh, I'm shaking. This shaking clip that you just saw is from Mr. Dalek JD while he was getting ready to open up the Black Ops Cold War <laughs> package that he received straight from Activision, okay? So he was shaking, I was watching his streams, I was shaking as well, everybody was shaking, the hype was crazy, and when the game came out, it, was, it deceived everybody, it was disappointing. In, in comparison to all the hype but now looking back at it it was pretty good why because all the new call of duty games have disappointed the fans even more so than this game disappointed you feel what i'm saying but no nah, i mean treyarch didn't have enough time because this game came out in in a pandemic right this was sledgehammer in my balls uh, Sl sledgehammer games project <laughs> and they were supposed to come out with a call of duty game but they shat the bat so badly that activision was like nah bro Treyarch, you suck is gonna take over Pandarmic, we were under Pandarmic, so they had less time. They were de they were developing the game from home. Uh, so yeah, it ultimately wasn't that good. Now Black Ops 6 right now that is coming out, that is about to come out. We're hearing that by the time it comes out, Trek would have four years, four years of development time. Why uh, four years uh, or how four years? Well, yeah, simply put, Black Ops Cold War came out in 2020. And ever since then, they have been working on Black Ops 6, which is gonna come out by the end of this year, 2024. So yeah, four years. So if this, yeah, this is, got, this gotta be good, right? This has to be good. If it's not, then it, it's Joe over, bro. What are we gonna say? What Blame Truth's gonna say? Four years and 4,000 devs? Man, come on, bro. Like, this game gotta be good. The game was made to be fast, but it didn't play fast because the skill-based matchmaking was cranked up to 11. Okay, now this is just it. my experience we because the sales numbers aren't down and you can see more than likely be in the game just simply because the sales numbers aren't down and you can see this through tweets here do you guys remember the last pre video where i talked about the steam charts and how black ops 6 was the best-selling game on steam yeah. pre-order category well unfortunately the same thing has rang true for the console side and as you can see here from this charlie intel tweet call of duty black ops 6 vault edition is currently the most pre-ordered yeah. item on the playstation store cross-gen bundle in the top 10 as well so i should note here also that the vault edition is the most expensive version of call of duty you can yeah. buy and of course yeah. that is the best selling pre-order item on playstation none men sick is always hate on call of duty but sick is are the first one to pre-order the game <laughs> listen man even if you love the game don't pre-order hashtag don't pre-order make not pre-ordering pre-ordering the game normal again now i get it if you're somebody that's looking to get the collector's edition and if they reveal the collector's edition you want to buy it immediately because otherwise it's gonna run out that part i get it and of course i also understand the argument of, hey i i just want to try the beta man yeah i get that pre-order the game when the beta is like two or three days away right then you can pre-order the game try out the game and if you don't like it you cancel it what these suckers that activision are doing is that and this is insane right this is the rabbit hole goes deep and we have talked about this previously and uh, other channels have talked about it but the Call of Duty D writers, they, they never talk about it. It's that once you, and, and I'm being objective here, I really hope the game turns out to be good. I want this game to succeed. I want, I'm looking to buy this game as well. I'll keep it real. I hope it's good. If it's not, I'm not gonna buy. But if it if it's good, I'll buy. Yeah, I wanna support good games as well. But here's the thing though. R uh, a lot of people just miss the idea. The, the reason, the reason why we had prestige tokens back in the days, the reason why we had pre-order bonus right now they're saying you can pre-order uh, I believe get Frank Woods and you can use Frank Woods in Warzone or uh, other games sounds good but the entire reason they do that is because once you pre-order the game and once you download that pre-order bonus you cannot get a refund yeah yeah this is the entire reason they they, they done prestige tokens in the back uh back in the days especially black ops 4 we had prestige token I remember like covering that story because there was a guy that 
tr uh, that downloaded that and then he tried to get a refund but couldn't because he ultimately downloaded and redeemed that's what the official wording was from playstation that oh no you have redeemed the the the, the content now you cannot get a refund and tough love he couldn't get his refund right so pre-ordering the game sucks and the pre-order uh, pre-ordering the games hurts everybody like even if you're a fan or a hater or you're just a cautious uh uh, what was this called? Cautious. There's a term for it. If you're a, ca a cautious customer, right? It's bad for all of us because if you, if the pre-order numbers are down, they're gonna really, really try to go after your money. And ultimately, the only way they can get your money is if they attempt, not even attempt, they deadass would have to offer you good content and they would deadass have to offer you more quantity and more quality so they can get your money and they can get you to pre-order the game you, you feel what i'm saying so let's not pre-order if you want to pre-order and play the beta early oh i get that part you can pre-order like two three days before and you can play your game and if you don't like it just refund don't download the pre-order bonus and you're good but if you love the the beta oh keep your pre-order oh absolutely right download the the pre-order bonus right yeah yeah absolutely but other than that there is there is no reason to pre-order because the games are not running out Carry forward is gone. This is bad. He says, uh oh, let's see. further. Point number three is that there's zero carryover from Modern Warfare 3 to Black Ops 6. This is perfectly summarized here in this Charlie Intel tweet. He says, carry forward update. When Call of Duty Black Ops 6 integrates with Warzone, all Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 6 content will be available in Warzone. That's great. But yeah. in Black Ops 6 multiplayer and zombies, only Black Ops 6 content will be available to you. So in short, Man. if you're a Warzone player, you get to keep all your stuff. If you're somebody who spends money, seven $70 on a game every year, you can go fuck yourself and not have any of the skins carry over from Modern Warfare 3 to Black Ops 6. Now, I know some people aren't going to care about this, but this is extremely anti-consumer, and there is yeah. kind of an ulterior- It is crazy, right, that I, I wish I could say psych right now, but it looks like that we're not going to get the original value. It looks like that the original friendly UAV online is not gonna carry over. That's such a dis disgraceful, disgraceful behavior, Activision. Come Your on, motive bro. here for Activision, and that is the fact that they can sell it to you again. They did this with Modern Warfare 2019 to Modern Warfare 2. We all remember the 4th of July mm -hmm. bundle, the copy paste blueprint that they took from Modern Warfare 2019 and put it into MW2 and sold it to you for a higher price. And let's not forget about Snoop Dogg. How many Snoop Dogs have we seen? We've seen Snoop Dogg. If my memory serves me correctly, we've seen Snoop Dogg in Modern. Modern Warfare 2, we saw okay. him in Vanguard, and we saw him in Modern Warfare 3. So they're gonna release another Snoop Dogg, another Nicki yeah. Minaj, all this other shit, upsell. My memory is foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom right now. Bruh. But I think we had Snoop Dogg in Call of Duty Ghost as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but right now my memory is foggier than uh, Snoop Dogg's bathroom. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Oh, you think it's not? Oh, it is. It is. Oh yeah it charge you more money so you have to buy it again just so you can lose it again next year this is why i'm against buying Crazy. skins in general it's extremely anti-consumer and this carry forward thing i knew was way too good to be true and there's no way they were going to do it again the only reason why they did it with modern warfare 2 to 3 is because modern warfare 3 is an over glorified dlc for modern warfare 2 but we're not going to get into that but even so this is a huge l for call of duty as a whole and only the call of duty community would find a way to spin this and make it seem like it's a good thing when they don't even realize they're being slapped in the face and Activision is spitting and shitting all over them and they just yeah. take it with a smile They've honestly convinced themselves that this is a good thing simply because of Immersion it's gonna ruin the immersion if we have modern warfare skins and black ops. It doesn't fit the setting It's gonna ruin. The oh, man. He's going off. He's hurt a and I understand. I was like him <laughs> He's a defeated gamer. I feel you, man. Come here, brother. Come here, man. He's gonna be all right. Nah, he has been burned by Activision many, many times. I hear passion coming out of this man. He, yeah, he, uh, he clearly had enough. In fact, we all had enough. Or, yeah, we all had enough, right? Like, let's be real. Games are coming out. I'm not just talking about Call of Duty here, but generally speaking, most games are coming out incomplete, filled with woke stuff, DEI, and on top of that, filled with, uh, generally speaking, objectively, uh, forget the, 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 the woke stuff for a second, uh, generally as well, uh, the games are coming out with, filled with microtransactions, lack of content, there's no soul in the games anymore. Yeah, like, yeah, we all had enough. I, I hear you, brother. The immersion. This is the most common argument I hear from them and it just makes me like sit there and like huh like you, you know that huh cat uh -huh. meme i'll put that button uh huh
fucking screen right now like huh like i don't even know how to respond to this bro you really think that they're going to keep the skins realistic and there's not going to be any cringy duck skins and fucking furries and easter bunnies yeah. and shit sliding and booty sliding all over the fucking place doing omnidirectional movement 360 no scopes oh, and man. shit you really that think that that's crazy, not yeah. going to happen well yeah. don't take my word for it don't take it from the guy who's been playing the game for 15 years take it from treyarch themselves because charlie intel's reporting here that treyarch confirmed to ign that they will be adding all sorts of skins to black ops 6 post launch but day one will focus on the base slash immersive items oh that's so good thank you treyarch i appreciate it. now now listen i don't mind this Bruh. I, I don't mind this as long as the game is fun and as long as the game is good. Uh, th this is what I said before and th this is my opinion. You can disagree, absolutely. Uh, but I feel like campaigns need to be realistic, okay? And then multiplayer, they can make it a little wacky. Uh, granted, if uh, the game is fun to play and they do not go too crazy with it. But knowing them, they would. I mean, what are we talking about here, right? $80 King Kong bundle in, in, in Modern Warfare 3. $100 weapon skin as well. Bruh. As a microtransactions to which the Call of Duty D-Rider said, Oh, it's just a reward, bro. It's just a reward. Activision, look at, look, look at Activision. How nice of them, right? They're being very nice. They're offering you a reward. A reward. You spend $100 and you can get a weapon skin. You spend eighty dollars, you can get a King Kong bundle. Activision is just very, very generous. They're offering us a reward, dog. If they were really offering you a reward, it would have been you completing maybe several challenges to unlock that. Okay, not paying eighty dollars to get a King Kong bundle that don't matter in real life. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? Th this is insane. But I don't mind this on paper. But it's just that. Yeah, it's like, it's one of those memes. You probably saw that meme, right? Season 1, it's good. Season 5, oh man, that, that's when you have all the anime waifu skins and, and all that. It's coming so through. day one, you won't be running around with any of those skins so that it doesn't break the immersion in that narrative we want. Now, yeah, of course, yeah, we're going yeah, to yeah. add things like that into post-launch. We know players love those things. Yeah, children love those things. And then we'll find really cool things that tie to the Black Ops lore and all new exciting stuff as well. So yeah. the question I have to you... Okay, why zombies is unsafe? I want to get into that. But there's one more thing I want to cover here uh -oh. before I close uh -oh. out the video. And that's if you're a zombies player, perhaps you think you're free from all of these algorithms and the shitty microtransactions. You feel like I'm just going to buy the game for zombies and I really don't care about the microtransaction side of things because I don't play multiplayer and I could care less. Well, there was a point that was brought up by one of my Discord members and he goes by the name of Ghost Ops Zone and I will be putting his channel in the description so you guys can check him out. But he brought up a great point that I didn't even think of because I'm not primarily a zombies player and that's the fact that gobble gums could actually be monetized and uh, more- uh, uh, Spoiler alert, they were in Black Ops story but the reason people didn't mind is, is, is was because zombies was really really good back then and also the earn rate was slow but still you know people didn't mind that much because there was a way to keep your perkaholics and that was like okay if you use perkaholic or any gobble gums the the ones that people have to pay or grind in the game to get right not talking about the classic gobble gums but like the the actual gobble gums right that matter uh, uh, basically, you would use them in the game, then close that, and you will keep them. So, it's like, you can only have one perkaholic, and you can use it unlimitedly. I hope we still had that feature back, and I hope Zombies is good. But, of course, they're gonna monetize that to hell. Oh, absolutely. I I'm just hoping the game is good. That's what I hope for personally more than likely will be added to bundles for astronomic prices so perhaps that's not game breaking for you perhaps there's people here that are like well who gives a shit it's just gobble gums it's not that big of a deal and maybe that is the case but the simple maybe. fact of the matter is they're gonna monetize the fuck out of zombies too just like and, and that's a fact as well they, they're gonna they're gonna like yeah. they do with multiplayer and all of this culminates into making call of duty black ops 6 the biggest scam in call of duty hit guys check out this video on the screen because apparently he just got caught cheating yeah this is insane there's a massive drama ongoing check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left